So I'm sitting here reading uh, a very old Sunday school lesson that I received from my dad, thanks dad, Kojic Bible study for Sunday school. And I decided to go backwards because that's the nerd in me. So it is a multi-series uh, lesson on love, like from lesson five to I think like lesson 10 or 11. Um, and I'm on eight. I did stop uh, at lesson seven or maybe it was lesson six. I don't remember. It was lesson six. I stopped at lesson six because it read me fulfilled <laughs> and I wasn't ready. It was love your enemies, child. Read my enemies for filth, let them go after I'd have told them about themselves. But <laughs> God, and I'm sitting here reading lesson eight, and I'm like, God, why you got me reading this? And in the midst of me literally just talking to God, like, why am I reading this? Why you got me reading this stuff? Because you know she ain't going with half of this. Okay, about a third. And God was like, I'm working on your heart. You want that relationship, that Ephesians 5 relationship. You got to start with love. It's the basis of everything. Y'all, when I tell you God will get your heart together, he will get you together. It literally says that um, love believes that God will reveal people's true nature. Because I'm like, this can be very volatile for people who are in abusive situations. And it says love, trust, and the eventual reconciliation with God. It's like, okay, God. A friend recently told me um, that you practice love at all times just make it like your norm and i'm like how the crap you do that like do you know how bad people get on my nerves like how do you do that and that just reminded me what i just read was like god saying vengeance is mine i'll get them and that's hard for me to trust because my favorite thing to do is get people together like do not try me do not come for me i did not send for you so go back and not to send her um <laughs> My point is, it says, uh, love is not self-centered or self-assert. Oh, she self-asserts all the time. But I'm going to go back to this passage saying that uh, love trusts. If I can trust anybody, I can trust God. I can have confidence in God. So that's what I got out of this series on love. And uh, hopefully you guys got something out of it too because, oof. It is not easy to face hard truths about yourself and your behavior and to change your behavior. But I'm trying to be an ambassador for Christ. So less of me, God, and more of you. Pray for me.